Hey friends, welcome back. Now we are going to continue our Mern Stack series. This is our e-commerce project. And in this video, we are going to work with the Redux and after that we are going to work with the categories, right? So for the categories, you know, we have created uh, functionalities like we can add the categories, delete and delete. So we have added all the required functionality, but we haven't added the actions properly. We have added only the success case, like whenever it is successful, then we will get the data, right? So we have to handle other uh, states also like the failure state. We have to handle error case. Okay, we have to handle all of them. So for that, uh, I have uh, uh, what we have till now. So we have uh, created the store and we attach the store with the window object, right? So we can see all the state information, window.store and then get state like that. We can get all the state information, right? What we have. So this is the final state of the application, right? And to make this process easier, I'm going to install a plugin. And with that plugin, you can have more features you can see the prior state of the application and you can see the final state of the application as as well as you can make a difference between the two different states of the application okay so let me show you how so first thing as you can see what we have over here so this is the github page or basically you can simply search on the google you can simply say redux dev tool right so first thing you need to install extension here is the chrome extension this is going to work with Chrome only. So Redux Dev Tools, click on it. And you can see uh, we have an option over, over here that is removed from Chrome. So it's because I have already installed it. It is already installed in my browser. So that's why I'm getting this option removed from Chrome. And you can also see if I will click right, you can see I have a Redux Dev Tool. I have a couple of options over here. Just forget it now. now. So after installing this Chrome tool, you can simply go to the browser apps or extension somewhere and you can enable it, right? More tools, you can go, you can go to the extensions and here you can find all of your extensions and here we have Redux Dev Tools, right? And here it is on right now. If it is off in your case, just enable it and that's it. And don't forget to restart your browser, right? Just close the browser and reopen it after installing and enabling the extension. Okay. So, okay, that's fine. And after that, let's go back to the page, Chrome page. And here, this is the second GitHub page. So this Chrome is actually from here, uh, GitHub, right? So here we have more details and the installation process, how we can integrate this extension with our application, right? Now here we have documentation and quickly click on this browser extension installation and configuration. Rest of them, we are not going to deal with it uh, right now. So here we have uh, complete details how we can install. This is the full picture of the software or tool, whatever you can call it. So there, here we have Chrome and we have already installed the extension so we can skip that part. Next we have the basic store how we can integrate the basic store. So this, this is a very simple and clear. As you can see, we already have a function create a store and already we are passing the first argument root reducer, right? And then you can simply pass the second option uh, with the extensions like this and you can have the basic set of the store. If you want to configure this uh, store with the middlewares, like in our case, we have a thunk middleware. If you handle that, uh, you can simply uh, do a little more uh, twist, add uh, some more twist. And you can see we have one more option advanced store setup and here uh, we have enhancer you can create this just forget everything right now uh, we'll do a very simple way and let's follow the system so this is one uh, use redux step to extension package from npm oh that's quite easy just install this package and uh, bring it uh, this library over here compose with dev tools and pass a second argument with and you can pass also the middleware with this compose with dev tool function right and so for that let's open your browser and you can see i have already opened a terminal you can close it you can go to the view you can click on the terminal and you, here you can see we have admin application right so this is our admin application don't install anywhere else except this admin app right so this first navigate to the project admin app then only install don't install anywhere else otherwise it will be a problem for all of us here you can simply uh, go and copy this line Okay, let's copy and after copy you can paste over here hit enter and wait for a couple of seconds so here you can see uh, the package is installed right 
So here this is the plus and Redux DevTool extension. The version is 2.138. So it is installed. You can check, you can verify with the package.json file and you can check over here. Here we have Redux DevTool extension, right? And let's close the application. No, sorry, not close. Let's go to the source file and okay, before that, let's go to the application and here you can see what we have. You can go to the Redux and you can see right now, okay, in your case, it might not be here. Uh, you can also check the, you can check in some places after enabling the um, Redux step tool. Just for first right click and you can see Redux step tool. You can have a couple of options. You can enable like to left and you're gonna have something like that. But if you click on somewhere else, then it is gonna disable. So kind of not uh, easy, very, very handy. You can see. So let's open it once more time left right or whatever you can place it so close this also you can check with your uh, options where you have elements console you can see with the last option i have redux right so this is also if you are not seeing over here you can click on this three dots right and you can go to the more tools and you can find over here so here you can uh, see also so these places you can see it will be somewhere right so here if it is not here then check there and blah 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 so here we have redux and right now it is uh, stored no form because we haven't enabled uh, we haven't connected uh, dev tool with the application right so let's go to the uh, package.json file and let's click on um, let's navigate to the store let's say store forward slash index.js and this is our uh, very basic simple store right let's go to the configuration and let's uh, copy this import extension okay and let's paste over here save and copy this uh, compose with dev tools and pass as a second argument right so we'll cut it from here and we'll say compose with dev tools right and now let's pass the middleware so here is our middleware with tongue let's save this and it is saved let's go to the application let's remove this also and now let's you can see boom and now you have uh, you can see something right let's refresh it and login success you can see the actions how it is dispatching so first uh, we are already logged in login success and here we have tree and we're here you can see the raw data so here we have two different tabs tree you can see the objects and you can uh, expand the objects and you can see the details like the first name last name or whatever the details we have already seen in the console right so these are the details tokens and all raw data if you go on uh, you can see the raw data right raw data means it is like uh, stringify right so you can see the object com full object without any minimization right so the different uh, uh, advantage is if you go for the tree you cannot copy the complete object over here right but if you go for the raw you can copy the complete object right here you can see everything so this is a plus point in case of raw if you're seeing it right now you can see the selected type on this over here we have action state difference trace test so it is selected by default difference so it means this is the difference it means there might be some state and now it's uh, changed to something else right so that's why you are seeing the difference you can also click in the state and you can see the complete state so here we have the complete state uh, so every details so this is this we can call it the final state right also, uh, this is expandable and you can see all the details over here. So here we have auth, we have user, category and product. If you open the product, you're going to see we don't have products right now. And why is that? Let's go to the products. Okay, so this is uh, this is because of uh, login success. So when this action got dispatched, login su success, this, this is what we have got. Then the second uh, action that is get all category success and this is the request and this is no that's no this is success called first time uh, i think that's empty then second it got called and it got some data that is over here so you can see all the 16 products what we have added right you can also check the action again you can see what action we have dispatched so the type of action is get all product success and you can also see the payload whatever the payload we have uh, added for this success case right so you can see lots of information like that and there are other features also we'll see later so here this how this worked okay so let's minimize this thing or you can close it for now so we have added the dev tool right 
Now next thing, let's go to the category and add the proper and the required actions. Okay. So let's go to the actions. Let's go to the category action here. We're getting all the categories. That is fine. So here we are uh, dispatching request, right? Then success as well as failure. Next, let's go to the add category. And here we are doing add new category request and success. That's fine. Failure. This is also fine. Then we have update category and here we are not doing anything. Let's close this one. And here we're going to write so update categories. Let's go to the constants and uh, let's go to the category constants and let's write actions like uh, update underscore categories underscore request. Sorry, it's underscore request. Let's copy this and I'll copy it multiple times. Let's copy this and let's write it success and let's copy this here we're gonna say failure right so request success failure let's save this now let's go to the category action and before the request we are going to dispatch an action dispatch and here we're going to say type category uh, constants dot update category request okay and here we are returning true and then doing the console that is totally useless if we are doing return true so that's this is uh, request right and uh, what about the success so when it is uh, status 201 it means it is successful and if you go to the category uh, page uh, we have to do some changes over there category dot uh, Okay, containers category index dot chase and let's find the categories where we are updating it. So update categories. So this is the form related uh, function and here we are doing the dispatch, right? So we don't need to do all of these things, right? Uh, let's remove this piece of code and simply uh, that's form, right? Next, uh, let's go to the category dot action dot chase and if it is success, then we are going to dispatch an action uh, a different action this one get all category so instead of ex doing export over here let's cut it from here and then we can make a call for that so we can dispatch success over here so get all category right and also we are using that somewhere right so we have to do export and let's say sorry let's say get category get all category Okay, so this is going to work. Now it, it is reusable. We can use that uh, function in this file because we want to dispatch. We want to update the information, right? And then we don't need to return any more true over here. And here we are going to do the failure case. So if it is not 201, then it is something else. Let's identify the uh, response. We're going to say const let's say uh, RES status and we'll dispatch an action type auth constants sorry it's category constants category constants dot uh, it's a failure Date categories failure and definitely we're going to get some error message payload we're going to say error right save it and are we using this status oh that's no need let's remove it and save it so here we are going to get and also dispatch one more action over here dispatch for example, let's say we have uh, we have made we, we made a request to update the categories. It might take one second, right? So for that, we are going to do some uh, loader or something we are going to display. So we can find out uh, that with this type, and we'll say category constants dot. We'll say update underscore categories success, right? Save. 
where we update category success and then we'll dispatch this save and now let's go to the constants sorry reducer and we'll handle over here so let's go to the category dot reducer dot chase and uh, here we have something right uh, get all categories add new category request add new category successful okay so we are not handling any of them not success not failure not nothing so here we're gonna do some cases right Here, so we'll say state equals to spread your current state and also take the loading as false. Okay, loading is true, right? And let's go to the state success state, and here we'll say current state and loading is going to be true. Oh, sorry, it is going to be false. So let's see, let me show you how it is going to work. So when we will make a request, uh, when we will make a request, then loading will be true. And we will check the state. If loading is true in the component, we will display some kind of text like loading or fetching data or a spinner, anything. And once a request got completed, then it is going to be success. And we'll simply make the loading false. And we'll check again in the component. If loading is false, then we'll display the data, right? Let's handle the error case status state and now let's add a not loading but this time error so if let's say if we have an error message and here we are going to have action dot payload dot error carry failure case okay now let's test this application okay let's test this working or not let's go and error is not defined Category.actions.js line num error is category.action.js. Okay, that's here. So here we have error. Actually, this is uh, instead of sta status, we should say error. And here we'll say res. Cool. Let's go inspect. Uh, not inspect. Uh, let's go to the Redux and let's refresh. And this is the last action which calls and everything we have. You can see the complete state over here and see the difference again. And now let's make a request to add a new category. So we'll say uh, my cat. Okay, as a root category, let's let's see the action okay so let's save and you can see we have got add new category request go to that and you can see the loading initially it was false that is cut it out you can see the initial information false now it becomes true once it is successful and you can see we have got some categories data got updated and loading again is false whoa it's working so this is how we can manage all the or how this request and uh, response, right? Now we are going to do some analysis over the Flipkart and based on that, we are going to create our next video. So let's do, let's go to the Flipkart and Flipkart.com and observe few things that is uh, important to observe, right? So here as discussed, uh, we have added some uh, prop some new property in the back end like the type of the category what cat what type of the category is for example if you go for the Samsung or Realme you're gonna see the list or you're gonna see the store but if you go for Apple right so here you're gonna see a different thing that is I'm calling it as a page so this is a flip card Apple page and they have created it okay so we are going to write an API we're going to create uh, some backend uh, database collection okay to handle and we, to keep all the pages and then we can, whenever this kind of categories comes in the picture then we are going to mix uh, we are going to fetch the page instead of fetching the product list so we are going to do that in the next video thank you for watching don't forget to like share and subscribe bye bye